I'm right in the middle of making a batch of 60 staircase spindles. The design includes a chamfer on all four corners, and the challenge is to get those chamfers to start and stop in exactly the same place. I've made a jig to help me do that. Let's go and take a look. The first thing you need to know is that the base of the jig is exactly the same length as the spindle that I'm routing. That way, when I put it in the bench and I do up the vise, both the spindle and the base are locked together as one. The next thing are these stops. They regulate the travel of the router. I'll start on this end, and I can only go so far because of this stop lock. And when I travel over, the chamfer will automatically be stopped at the other stop lock. There is, however, a danger, and that's splitting of the wood. Um, sometimes, depending on the grain of the wood, there's a tendency for the wood to split beyond the stop block. That's why the first thing I do is to make a plunge cut at the far end, the end where I'm going to end up. I plunge the rotor in at the stop block position, and that eliminates the chance that any splintering will go beyond where I want that chamfer to stop. You can use this technique of using a jig with stop blocks for all kinds of applications involving chamfers that have to be a certain length and identical to other chamfers on project parts. Repeat the process for all four corners of whatever you're routing, and you'll end up with some beautiful, even, attractive chamfers just like you see here.